Hey family, how is everybody doing today? Hope everybody is doing well. This is Shanquilla's uh, flyer that they have out now. It says May 19th, 8 a.m. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. I know I want to tell everybody thank y'all so much for y'all support in the comment section. Thank y'all for rocking the chat. Thank you to the moderators. Appreciate it. Awesome. I'm just, just overwhelmed at all the support that we have been getting here on the Cafe of Knowledge. And I want to tell y'all, thank you again. Please keep it up. I enjoy looking at the comments. I, I try to reply to some of them. But, and my team try to, uh, you know, reply to some of them as well. But let's get right on to it because I know a lot of y'all have been asking me. You're going to talk about that uh, fight that they had down there in North Carolina at a bar on the outside in the parking lot. And I was saying, we seen it, we own it. I had so many comments asking me subscribers saying hey you're going to talk about what happened with the Cabo 3 okay and i said yeah we on it but we wanted to wait on more information and facts we just don't see things and then try to be the first to put it out all the time a lot of people do is i mean that's that's what they do no problem with it but over here, what we do is we wait, we gather up more facts, more information, we investigate it a little bit more and see exactly what's going on. And then when my team and I give the green light, then we will talk about that. So I just want a lot of people to know that because a lot of people are new to the channel and didn't know they just expect that if they see a big breaking news story, that I'm going to instantly talk about it. I'm going to talk about it, but please understand that my team does a lot of fact checking as well. Before they even give green lights for me to come on camera and say anything. Or for me to come to y'all and say anything. Because we try to give you the most accurate information we can give. So, and a lot of stories change when it's first broken, you know. Y'all see that all the time. It's normal. It's normal. It happens all the time in the news, main media, everything. That when they report a story, then you'll find out later. They'll say, oh, 20 was injured. Then they'll say, no, 8 was injured. Or they'll say, 8 was injured. No, it was 20 that was really injured. So the story is going to fluctuate at the beginning. So that's why my team holds on. They wait. They check it out. They fact check it. They give it a little bit more time. And then they start looking and investigating everything like that. And then we all get together. And then that's when the green light will come. Or either they say, uh-uh, we, we ain't going to touch that. Let's leave that alone. Okay, because there's a lot of content creators that has not even reported on this period. And they might be a little skeptical, might not. I don't know, but it's a lot of them who hasn't. It's a couple of content creators who have touched on this story. And I said I was going to touch on it, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I hope y'all do understand that. So don't think that, oh, she didn't even see it. Oh, let me, you know, thank y'all for telling us definitely about it we had saw it we was just doing a little bit more fact check in it okay and um shout out to gerald nc beats you know because he broke the story and everything like that so shout out to him but that's what we was waiting on family okay so as we waited then we found out that the fight that happened in the parking lot family was not Elise. It was someone else. And Gerald did come back and correct that from NC Beats. He did. He came back and corrected. Shout out to Gerald again. He did come back and correct what he said. And I like that he even did that. Okay. So now 
we never saw winter in there. I ne we never saw Elise. The person who everybody thought was Elise wasn't. It was someone else, okay? I don't know who that someone else is. A lot of people are speculating, but they was in this. Let me see right here. I just want to show y'all that right there. Now, we didn't see Elise, but, you know, allegedly they did see a little bit of Dejeuner, and we're going to talk about that. Um, this was Gerald, you know, he was saying, video shows street, street justice meet three members of the six, Cabo Six, in Greensboro, North Carolina. Okay, so he did do that story on that, and let me tell y'all this right here first, okay? Because this was the person at first that everybody thought was Elise. And it's not. It's somebody else. Um, I really don't want to say who it is because I really don't know who this person is. But this person was with one of the cowboys, which was Dejeuner. And they said this person was with Dejeuner, Elise, and Winter, and another young lady named Joy Elise, they said allegedly they all was together, okay, and I'm going to say a lot of allegedly's in here, because, you know, I'm, we still not as sure, so I don't know who this person right here is, but what we have been told that this person was with Cabo Six, I mean, you know, with the, one of the, the three of the Cabo Six, Dejeuner, Winter, and Elise. Okay, and then they had that other friend, Joya Elise, who normally hangs with them all the time as well, and we'll see her, okay? Now, so let me go on to this right here, and this is what Gerald did correct, and he did say, okay? And when we first heard this story, we also, when Gerald printed it up in the papers and on the internet, we also waited for Gerald to come on to his YouTube platform. And we knew that when he didn't come on his YouTube platform that we needed to wait as well. Because for him to be waiting, then we felt like we should wait. And then when Gerald came on to his platform, which is NC Beats, he then corrected everything as he talked to a young lady that was part of this thing as well. Okay? So, you see there it says, In a steel shot, you will see Dejanae Jackson in a blue shirt, ripped blue jeans, shorts, or whatever it was that she had on. Okay? That's what uh, Gerald had reported on. Then you'll see here, he says... Let me get it. Okay. He says, what does it say? Initially, we initially reported that the lady in this white outfit with leaves on it was Winter Donovan. And it is not. Okay. The person is Joya Elise, the friend of Dejeuner, Winter, and Elise. Okay. So that was that right there. Okay, so this is Joya Elise, and it wasn't Winter, okay? And these are the two that the Cowboy 3 allegedly was basically harassing and intimidating and everything else, okay? We finna get to that. Hmm, yeah, yeah, we are. Then it says, we have been unable to identify Winter in the video. But eyewitnesses say she was there. Okay? So, Elise wasn't never on the video, and Winter wasn't never on the video. But they say that they were there. Okay? There are eyewitnesses that say that they were there. Dejeuner was allegedly spotted in that blue jean outfit she had on, whatever, with the toy jeans or whatever like that, okay? So, we got that together. Then it says, according to the source involved in the fight, 
She and her friends were inside electric tequila Wednesday night when a woman they recognized as Dejanae Jackson asked if one of her friends was recording her. Okay. And the woman had told Hyatt no after Hyatt walked away. The woman said her friend asked her, who was that? And she told her it was the girls who did that, you know, whatever to Shanquilla. Okay. And then that's where it went from there. And then it says, the woman said after the bar closed, the members of the Cowboy Six kept saying mess, talking about Dejanae. Winter and Elise and this other person that they was with that was dressed in this old bootleg Bruce Lee outfit, okay? Uh, but I'm just going to call that other person just um, the outrate person, okay? The, the one who was out of control person, okay? So that's the person who was with Dejanae, Elise, Winter, and the joy of Elise. And then you had the out of control person, okay? That's how we're going to put it. Allegedly, they all was there. And then they got right here that when the bar closed, the members of the Cabo Six kept saying some mess. So she and the others went to their butts, okay? That's the way they say it. Now, this right here, suppose I know it's Blur Family because it was in motion, but this is the jean outfit with the ripped jeans that allegedly supposed to be Dejanae, okay? And then you have there, you can see like a purse hanging right here, and this is her legs, and she do, do look like her knock knee legs, okay? It really do, but because you know they stay ashy. But anyway, and these are the ripped jeans or whatever. So this isn't, it's supposed to be somebody like putting hands on Dejanae. So allegedly this is Dejanae, and she got hands put on her, okay? And then this person right here, everybody thought was Elise with the white sleeves on. Looked like the bootleg Bruce Lee outfit, okay? That's the one who was out of control. So we're going to call that one the out of control person because we don't know who that person is. But what they are saying, that person was part of Elise Winter and Dejanae little crew that night, okay? So, that was that person, okay? And then you see right here, Dejanae is on the ground, supposed to be, okay? And this is that person, again, that a lot of people thought was Elise, but it wasn't, okay? That was not Elise doing that brawl. And um, let me show y'all that picture a little bit more clearer but this person is the one who was doing the out of control fighting and got put in the headlock and all that mess like that okay running that mouth but anyway that's the person that's the out of control person who a lot of people thought was Elise but Gerald did come back and correct that that was not Elise okay so the only one of the cowboys that we kind of can say that it might have could have been or allegedly was was the one in the blue jean outfit which was Dejanae Jackson okay allegedly that was Dejanae Jackson during that time okay so now let's get to this because I want to get on to what I wanted to say now as you see I'm trying to figure out because, see, Dejanae Jackson is the ringleader of this whole thing. It's like a gang family. It really is. It's like Dejanae is running a gang here because Dejanae Jackson is the ringleader of her winter Elise and this Joya Elise, okay? And the other friends as well. Now, that's that out of control one that they was that was hanging with them. So I just feel like they are a danger to North Carolina and South Carolina because they constantly keep a mess. They constantly trying to start mess. You know, now people wanted to spark up this rumor that, you know, it was 
somebody from the LGBTQ community or whatever, whatever that was doing the fight. It could have been. I don't know. I'm not going to say that because I don't know who that person really specifically is. Okay. So I'm just going to call that person the out of control person. And sometimes the person that was in the bootleg Bruce Lee outfit. Okay. That's how I'm going to address who that person was. Point blank period. Now it was Dejanae Jackson who so-called a, a lot of people want to say, well, you know, since this came out, maybe that was the person who jumped on Shanquilla. So they want to say that the person that they thought that was the least in the video, that it could have been the person who jumped on Shanquilla. No, 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 no. That was Dejanae Jackson who attacked and deleted Shanquilla down there in Cabo, Mexico, okay? I could tell I, I could tell you right now that it's all over the paperwork, okay? It's all over the United States paperwork. It's all over the Mexico paperwork. It's all over everybody paperwork that the name is Dejanae Jackson, okay? So I can understand that people want to speculate and they have their opinions and I think that this person is the one who attacks and quote. They can say all that. It doesn't matter. Like I said, we go by facts. And the fact is, Dejanae's name is the one on that sheet. And on the extradition papers that attacked Shanquilla. Okay? So we have to go by that. Point blank period. Okay? And Dejanae is all over the paperwork of the United States and Mexico. And believe me, she would have quickly corrected it. If she wasn't the one. Okay. She. There's your name finna go down for nobody else. So. She ain't said that because she is the one. She and the Cabo Six. Claim she was the one. You know why? Because you remember. In the report. The FBI said that they interviewed. Or they told the family and the family's lawyer. That they interviewed some of the Cabo Six. And some of the Cabo Six said that Shanquilla agreed to fight Dejanae Jackson, okay? Which we know is all a lie, but the point is, it's Dejanae Jackson who attacked Shanquilla. Nobody else. And if it is somebody else, believe me, Dejanae Jackson, right here, gonna tell it. She's gonna tell it. She's not gonna go down like this for nothing for somebody else. Point blank period. Okay? And if y'all remember, somebody had called the NC Beats and he said that they had told him that they was close to Dejanae Jackson's mother. And that that person said, I don't know why everybody putting all of it on Dejanae. She wasn't the only one who attacked Shanquilla. Okay? So, it's Dejanae Jackson who jumped and attacked and deleted Shanquilla. I mean, point blank. I, I know people want to believe that it was the other person and all that, but now that other person who was out of control out there in that parking lot that so-called looked like a lease but wasn't a lease, it was an out of control person who we don't know the real identity of that person, but what we do know, that wasn't the person who attacked and deleted Shanquilla down there in Cabo, Mexico, okay? Because they clearly got Dejanae's name all over the paperwork, point blank, period, okay? So now, the true fact is, it's Dejanae. And when and if Dejanae gets, you know, extradited, she'll definitely tell who all was there. She gonna definitely tell who all was there and what part they played in Shaquilla's death. Because she ain't going to want to go down alone. So rather she tell, during her expedition appeal, she going to tell it then, either when she start appealing extradition, she going to start talking. Or either when she's on her way down there to Mexico for her extradition. Either way it go, she is going to tell exactly who was all there and who took part in what because she ain't going to go down by herself. And when the other cowboys get caught for these other charges that I brought up in my previous videos, if they ever get caught.
out and put behind bars for all those other charges that I had brought up in the other videos, then they going to start talking as well. So whoever was there and participated, played a part in something, they all going to start singing like a pure, nice hummingbird. Yes, they are. Point blank period. Now, first of all, I'm trying to figure out why is the Cowboy uh, 6 still running around these United States streets, period. Because, see, they done committed at least four crimes against Shanquilla. They attacked Shanquilla and they deleted Shanquilla and they committed at least four other crimes against Shanquilla while they was down there in Cabo, Mexico, and we done already point that out. So they shouldn't even be running streets anyway. But since they are, here they go, starting some more mess down there at a club that they call Electric Tequila, allegedly. You know, that they was down there cutting up. You know. But my thing is, they are heartless and dangerous criminals and bullies. And they will strike again. I told y'all they would strike again. And they did. And they did at that electric tequila Wednesday night. Allegedly, that was them. And I'm going to tell y'all right now. A lot of people say, oh, people thought Dejanay was here. And people thought Dejanay was over here, and they thought Dejanay was in Jamaica and all that stuff. I'm going to tell y'all right now, ain't no thought. Their passports had never been revoked. Dejanay was traveling back and forth to both. United States, Jamaica. United States, Jamaica. And I'm going to tell you right now that Dejanay was hiding very good. And a lot of us felt like and still feel like she was over there in Jamaica until the ruling came down. Because if you notice, you didn't People were saying they saw Elise in the club partying. People saw they, said that they saw Winter in the club partying. But you never heard about Dejanay being anywhere partying or anywhere. She stayed low. A lot of people thought the girl was deceased. We knew she wasn't deceased, you know, because we knew that she was able to travel and stay low. Okay? So she was traveling her ass off just to stay low. But when that ruling came down of no criminal charges against the Cowboy Six, that's when you start seeing Dejanay. And that's when we feel she brought her butt back over here to America. See, because think about it, family. When you're out of the country, you wait until a ruling comes down. Because if they had a said they're going to charge the Cowboy Six, for criminal charges, then she would have already been outside of the United States. And she was feeling like she was so-called safe. Okay? And it would have been harder to get her from out from over there in Jamaica. But as soon as that ruling came down of no criminal charges, notice how quick she was seen again. Yeah, notice how quick she was seen again because now she could come back with no problem. And that's when you could tell a person done hit back into the U.S. or out from under their little hiding spot because now they feel like they invincible and, hey, I ain't got no charges on me and extradition papers has not been put down yet. So she's free to go wherever she wants to go until she, she only want it in Mexico. Mexico is the place that she don't want to go right now because she might get hemmed up up over there. But far as the United States go, she ain't got nothing on it yet. Expedition papers haven't been signed, haven't even been decided to do yet. So she, when she heard that ruling of no criminal charges, that basically said, I'm free to be out in the public now. I'm free to come out. And if I was in another country, I'm free to go back to the United States now. And that's exactly what she did. Okay? Yeah. Because you notice you haven't heard or seen nothing of Dejanay until that ruling came down. No criminal charges. Uh-huh. Now, they out here bullying people and, and intimidating them. See, I don't condone violence. But these criminals committed a violent deletion against Shanquilla. And they was on a mission to do the same to this innocent woman who was inside that club. If that was them, 
And it looks like Dejanae in that jean outfit. So, it looks like they was getting ready to target another innocent victim. That's my opinion. Why do these criminals think that they can go out and party with our loved ones and with us? And we're supposed to welcome them with open arms. No, that's not how it go. Because we know our loved ones and us could be or will be their next victim. Because they are criminals. See, we have to stay on top of game. And also, family, join our live. I'm doing. We're doing a live May 28th. Write that down. May 28th is on a Sunday at 6 p.m. Please write that date down, family. Please join us. We're going to have call-ins. People can call in, and we're going to talk about and have a discussion about Shanquilla and the Cowboy 6. Live show. You can call in. I can't wait to talk to a lot of y'all and hear y'all opinions, and we discuss this whole matter. It's going to be very interesting. This is going to be an interesting live. So we hope y'all join us. Please write that down. May 28th. That's on a Sunday. It's going to be 6 p.m. Central time. Okay. Now. The Cabo 6. Know. They are very dangerous. And they know they have the urge. To strike again. Okay. Because that's just what criminals do. That's just what they do. They intimidate people. And all that. And I told y'all. That the females and the males. In Cabo 6. Are dangerous. And North Carolina justice system. Didn't do anything. But gaslight these criminals into, didn't do nothing but gaslight them, into making them think they are untouchable. Because, see, North Carolina, no criminal charges thing, did nothing but make the Capo 6 think. They can bully people in the public. They can commit crimes. They can delete people. They can start mess in the public. And ain't nothing going to be done to them as long as they in North Carolina or South Carolina. See, they very dangerous and arrogant at the same time. They wreaking havoc on the innocent out here in the public. This here incident that happened in the parking lot clearly shows that. That they are still dangerous. They're not going to change. They did what they did to Shanquilla. And as soon as they got that no criminal charges thing, they started wreaking havoc all over again to the public, to the innocent public. So basically, they could just start messing, intimidate people and commit all kind of violent acts and all and delete people. All that against their citizens over there in North Carolina and all across these United States. And nothing going to be done. They can get away with it. That's what it's given. That's what it's given. Because I'm going to tell y'all right now, at that electric tequila club, whatever, over there in Greensboro, North Carolina, allegedly, it was Dejanae who walked up to a young lady that had her cell phone out. Now, they did say that the young lady was holding her phone up in the air. And it was Dejanae that walked over, allegedly, walked over to this woman and said, are you recording us? Or you record trying to intimidate somebody again, trying to bully somebody again, trying to target somebody again, trying to target somebody that she probably thought she can most likely bully. Uh-huh. Because that's what she do. That she can most likely intimidate. Or that it would be an easy whoop. Yeah. See, that's what Dejanae do. See, we already said that, that they prey on the innocent. Walked up to this lady and asked, are you, are you recording us? See, first of all, they, they didn't have no business walking up there asking nobody, was she, they recording her, first of all. Okay, you a criminal. Of course, somebody probably recording you. If she was or wasn't, it's not Dejanae's job to walk up to nobody and ask them, is she recording them? Come on now. Still haven't changed. Still dangerous. And North Carolina actually got them walking around here steady intimidating people. 
and they looking for their next victim. I can tell y'all that right now. They are looking for their next victim. Because criminals stay hungry for a crime. It's in their blood. Once criminals keep doing crimes, it's a hunger they have that they have to fulfill. That's why I said they need to be locked up in jail. Yes. And let me let y'all hear that Gerald corrected himself. And I want y'all to hear what this lady said before I continue. Because he did correct himself that that was not a lease. That was the out of control person. Okay. There you Numerous go. people who was there uh, and one of the fighters. Okay. We was able to picture that one of the young ladies was Dejane. Then we saw one that was a, actually was a tranny uh, was actually who we thought was Elise. But hell, she looked like a man, so it don't even matter, baby. You know. And then we found uh, Joya Elise. Y'all remember the lady that y'all thought was originally over there with them, the Joya Elise lady? Well, you know, she was the one that was in there whitening them leaves. But went to Donovan and Elise Hyde was somewhere else, you know, in that mixture. But we know that according to the spider on the line tonight that they got their ass whooped. Okay. So y'all hear him say that the person that everybody thought was Elise that another guy was putting in the headlock that wasn't a lease. That was somebody else. That was the out of control person that this other man put in the headlock. Okay. And was giving them that work. Okay. But the one that was supposed to, that everybody thought was a lease, that person was with the Cowboy three. Okay. And so that's how that is. Now, let me let y'all listen to, what um the chick says as she's talking to Darren. Sh uh, Gerald, shout out to uh Gerald NCB. Check this out. Hey, so in the video, right? In the video, there's a girl in the purple. Don't I don't want you to say who she is or whatever. Uh, but the girl in the purple was standing by this boy who we eventually see, you know, jumping on the uh the trans. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I heard what I was that. saying when they were standing right there for a moment. Was she trying to tell everybody to stop, or what was she trying to do? She just kept walking up slow. She wasn't saying nothing. She was just walking up slow. Okay, so they talking about who was... Now, they say the one that was in that bootleg Bruce Lee outfit that everybody thought was Elise. They say that was a trans woman, okay? I'm not saying all that. I'm just going to say... The out of control person. That's their name for me. Okay. Because I don't know who it is. Okay. But that's who they say it is. Okay. So I'm just going to name them the out of control person. Because they was out of control. Now. The person they talking about now. About the person who walked up on them. They talking about that Joya Elise. Who is Dejanae Winter. And the out of control one. And um, Elise, Elise, Dejanae, Winter, Joya Elise is their friend. So Joya Elise is the one who walked up slowly, was going to try to get a little sneak hit in, allegedly, this is what the girls say, and then they gave Joya Elise that work as well, okay? So listen to this. So that's who they talking about right here, Joya Elise. Listen. Only ones that have was the Deja, what's her name? Dejanae. Dejanae, her, and the uh, Alice, what's her name? Elise girl. Elise girl. Them was the only two that had the mouth in the trans. <laughs> now, the one with the leaves just was walking up slow. Talking about Joya Elise with the leaves. She said she was walking up slow. So, this girl here was part of the fight. And she says that Dejanae. And Elise are the ones who had the and the and the um out of control person. They all had a lot of mouth. Okay, um, she didn't even mention Winter. Okay, she just said Dejanae, 
a lease and the out of control one, okay, that was in the bootleg Bruce Lee outfit, okay, said them three had the mouth. The Joya Elise, who was with them, who was with Dejanay and them, she was kind of walking up slow, and they felt she was trying to get a sneak leak lick in. So they started giving her that work too, okay? But the out of control one is the one who started it anyway, because they was the one who launched at the other people, dived at the other people. And then that's when that out of control one started getting that work, okay? And got put in the headlock by another man, okay? While another woman was working Joya Elise. But it all started because Dejanay gonna walk up to an innocent woman and ask, are you recording me trying to intimidate her, trying to bully her, point blank period, you know? And that don't make no sense. And most likely they was targeting this woman. I'm telling y'all, that's what criminals do. That's what Dejanay do. Because that's why, I'm going to tell y'all. See, the public has to understand that Dejanay was targeting her target. She was targeting a victim at that time. She is itching to do the same thing that she did to Shanquilla to somebody else. You could tell. Why would she walk up to somebody and ask them, are you recording me? And then going to try to take their phone. Oh, no, sis. And I'm glad that person had somebody there with her. I'm glad that person who had the phone had some people there with her. Because if she didn't, she'd have been in a world of trouble just like Shanquilla. Because, see, Shanquilla didn't have nobody with her. That's what Dejanay and these Cowboy Six do. That's what they do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it looked like the out-of-control person that hangs with them is right along with them. And it looks like the Joya Elise chick, allegedly, is right along with them. I'm telling you, it's like a big gang they got going on. But these are the people that North Carolina DOJs let go. Come on now. They was most likely picking their next target family, I'm telling you. But the public jumped in to intervene. In my opinion, that's how I feel. This lady was definitely going to be Dejanay's next victim. Because this is what criminals do, family. Let me tell you. First of all, they don't like to be recorded. See, because Dejanay didn't even want to let nobody even know she had came out. She didn't. And she didn't want nobody to know where she was. Point blank period. Especially criminals who are being accused of deletion. And I'm going to tell you, they passed crim criminal behavior of what they did to Shanquilla tells us that they were scoping out this next victim. I mean, you got to, you got to look at it. Everything she did, Dejanay did, is what she did to Shanquilla. Mm-hmm. Starting something. Approaching somebody. She approached Shanquilla at that villa. Now she approaching another innocent lady in a club or in a bar. You know, trying to intimidate somebody just like they did to Shanquilla. I'm telling you. You have to understand that's what they did. And Dejanay, she slipped down on the ground now while they going through this tussle and stuff. Because, see, the out-of-control one, Dejanay started it. Then when they got outside the club, they started mouthing off at these people. Innocent people. The public. They mouthing off at the public over a damn phone. That's not your phone, Dejanay. You can't just take everything from people. You just can't approach people and try to make them stop recording. You can't do that, but that shows you the criminal coming out of her. The evil coming out of her. The demon coming out of her. She couldn't wait to do it again. No, she can't. And then Dejanay thought, old Fish Stick Jackson, you know, she 
thought this was going to turn out her way, but it didn't because the public intervened and whoever this girl was with intervened because she said that when Dejanay asked her, you recording me? You record, and the girl said, no, why would I be recording you? And then she said, I didn't end Dejanay almost trying to take the phone, allegedly. And then the other girls that this other lady was with said, who is that? And they said, those are the ones who did that mess to Shanquilla. And that's when they all stood up. And was like, oh no, it ain't gonna go down like that. Ain't nobody trying to record you, whatever, whatever, whatever. Now Dejanay and her other winter or Elise and Joy Elise and the out of control one and all of them gets together and they start mouthing off. So when they get outside the club, they continues to mouth off at these innocent people in the public, wanting to start some more mess. And then they got that work. Mm -hmm. They got that work. And I seen Dejanay down there on the ground crawling like she finna do an OnlyFans video. She can't even get up. But I got to tell you, when she did get up, she left Joya Elise getting whooped. Which is supposed to be her friend. She left the out of control one in a headlock. Getting whooped in a headlock. And she walked off. Yeah. So where was her big and bad at then? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Dejanay, why, why you wasn't big and bad then? Because see, when Dejanay was able to wiggle out that crowd family, she did it so fast and she walked the opposite direction from the fight. While Joy Elise was getting that work and while that other out of control went in the bootleg Bruce Lee outfit was getting that work. Dejanay walked off from both of them. She ain't, when, when she was able to get up out that crowd, she did. She did. So why you ain't bad now, uh, Dejanay Jackson? Why you ain't bad now? You know, why did you leave Joya getting that work? Why did you leave the out of control one to get that work? Why you leave them? See, you did, see, Dejanay did all that woofing at Shanquilla in the villa. She did all that attacking on Shanquilla. She deleted Shanquilla. Oh, she was telling Shanquilla, I'm tired of this B. I'm tired of this B. Oh, she was big and bad, wasn't you, Dejanay? Why did you run the opposite direction when your little homies was getting that work? See, that show you ain't as bad as you thought she is. And that showed us that we knew all the time. You ain't as bad as you think you is. You pray on the innocent. Mm -hmm. You pray on the weak. That's what you do. That's what you do. Because I'm going to tell y'all, family. Dejanay ran like a stray cat. When them folks started throwing them hands. And she was on her four hands and knees. Like a stray dog getting ready to do her only fans page. Yes, she was. Y'all should have seen her. Yeah, I said, God, I said, I said, boy, she getting up out of there, ain't she? She on her hands and knees, knock knee like a knock knee chihuahua, getting away from the fight, getting away from. She snuck out of there. She snuck out of that fight. Now she got her head knocked a couple of times, but boy, when she fell on that ground, was she not trying to get up out of there? And when she got up out of there, she went the opposite way from the fight and left her little two homies there getting that work. Mm-hmm. Dejanay didn't even try to help them. She didn't even try to help her own friends. Cold-hearted. She cold-hearted. That's what she is. Cold-hearted. But I'm trying to figure out, Dejanay, why did you throw them hands with these people? Why didn't you hang in now with Joy Elise and that other out-of-control person from getting that work? Why you didn't help them? But I tell you right now, family, when I saw the whole thing, I said it was alcohol poisoning. Yes, it was. Ain't that what they said? Yes. That whole thing wasn't nothing but alcohol poison. See, when Joy Elise got uh, that work and then that other out-of-control person got that work i said oh that ain't nothing but I, uh alcohol poison that's all they got yeah that's the work of alcohol poison that's all that is yeah mm -hmm. but anyway joy elise see 
she didn't go to Cabo, Mexico, but she do hang with Dejanay Winter and Elise real tight, okay? She got the worst whooping out there in that parking lot. I'm telling you, Lord, have mercy. She got the worst whooping out there. Now, that out of control one got put in that headlock and was getting, getting you know, tore up too. But Joy Elise really got that work, okay? If that was her allegedly, okay? Now, this whole thing is allegedly. But she do travel with Elise Winter and Dejanay a lot. So, what I'm saying is, when you hang with criminals, this is what you get, okay? When when you hang with criminals, and you hang with people who commit deletion, people automatically think you the same way too. And it looked like she was, because the girl said that Joya Elise allegedly was walking up to do something to the rest of the people, point blank period, you know? And who in their right mind going to hang with criminals who delete people anyway if you ain't like that? That's how I look at it. Who cover up crimes, who commit deletions, who bully people, who intimidate people, who give people, you know, a hard time. These people have heart of ice. And you hanging with them? But Joy Elise should have seen right then. That Dejanay gives not one, two dams about her. Because I'm going to tell y'all right now, Dejanay didn't even try to help Joya Elise or that other out of control person that was with them. Mm -mm. No, she didn't. She walked clean off. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. You know. So it's given to me that all of them are dangerous. And it's like a clique, it's like a gang family. I don't know how many times I got to say that. But it's like Dejanay and the Calvo Six and that out of control person that was in that bootleg Bruce Lee outfit. Her, that person and Joya Elise is like a big dangerous gang. They are big dangerous gang. That's how I look at it. And that's what they giving. That's what they giving. They went to that club to start some mess with somebody. They really did. And I'm going to tell you like this. Joya Elise and that other out of control one and all the rest of them. See, when you hang with criminals, you're going to get these same type of results. Yes, you are. You're going to get hardcore evil results hanging with criminals. Because that's all you get. Criminals... Ain't nothing but evil and bad luck follow them everywhere they go. Because they always in some mess. Always in some mess. And I didn't see Winter in that video. I didn't see Elise in that video. But allegedly they said that they was there and they was a part of it too. I don't know. I didn't see them. You know? But I told everybody that these Demon Six... Will strike again, and Dejanay is out of control, and she did strike again because she clearly, what this woman said allegedly, walked up to her trying to intimidate the woman who had the phone. That's that bully intimidation tactics that they did on this young lady in the public while this lady minding her own. Now, see, this lady can be in the public, and this lady here is minding her own business with her cell phone. If she was recording or not, it's her business. Dejanay still feel she has the power. And she's so much of a big bully that she can go over to an innocent, tax-paying citizen and bully them and tell them, are you filming me, and damn near going to try to take their phone. Come on now. Come on now, why these people ain't in jail? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I told everybody about them. I told them that they were going to strike again, and they did. Once a criminal, always a criminal to me. Like this, when you're talking about committing deletion and it wasn't self-defense or nothing like that. You just doing it just to be doing it. We saw the video of her attacking Shanquilla. She was doing that just to be doing it. Shanquilla wasn't fighting back. 
So you know it got to be a stone cold evil heart to do that. And she right out here in North Carolina streets. And she probably most likely going to hit some other streets in America. In other states. And wreak the same havoc on somebody else's city if she's not stopped. And put in jail or either extradited. This is what she do. And it's sad. Because I feel Dejanay, Elise, and Winter was most likely going to set this young lady up the same way they did Shanquilla. These Cowbo Six are mad disrespectful. They really are. I feel like they was going to set this woman up. And why do I say that? Because I say that Dejanay went up to that woman and picked that argument, bullied, tried to bully that woman, tried to intimidate that woman because she knew it most likely would be a confrontation. But what she didn't really bank on is that that woman was going to have friends and the public having her back. See, they had picked that woman, and they started that argument. See, these high criminals do. They had started this argument with this woman, and they was expecting for that catch that woman out there in that parking lot by herself. Because you notice that this woman here that was talking to Gerald Jackson said that when they got in the parking lot, Dejanay, Elise, and the other out of control one was steady popping off at the mouth. So if that young lady who had that phone had it came out of that club or bar by herself, she would have been attacked by Dejanay, Elise, Winter, and that other out of control one. She would have been attacked. And guess what? Nobody probably would never know what happened. Because guess what they were going to do, family? Take her phone. The same way they took Shinquilla phone. Don't it sound familiar? See, these phone things are sounding very familiar. Because you notice Shinquilla phone was taken. Well, she couldn't call nobody. Couldn't call for help. None of that. Come on, family. Think about it. These phone things are very similar. This is what they do. So I'm glad that this girl had some friends with her and that the public stepped in. I'm not surprised at all that this even happened. When they said that this was allegedly them and I, I wasn't surprised. No, I wasn't. Because I told everybody they will strike again. And they're going to strike on one of our loved ones. And that girl who was holding that phone is somebody loved one. And they targeted her. That's what they did. That's what they did. And when I saw that big brawl out there in the parking lot, I said to myself, who did they intimidate? Who did they pick with? I had automatically said that the cowboy three or two or one, Dejanay, I said had to start it. Because that's what they do. We seen it on video. They started with Shanquilla. I said they had to start it. And allegedly, listening to this girl talking to Gerald Jackson, they did start it. And I believe her because we have proof that they do start stuff. We have proof and heard of people in middle school and high school say they was bullies. It's, come, it's still coming out. Why are they still walking the street, family? It's sickening. It's sickening. So people want to know what I had to say. That's what I had to say about that. See, criminals like Dejanay and the Cowboy Six and all that, this is what they do. They're going to keep talking. And a lot of people said, well, you know, they should be laying low at all things. You know, they should be, uh-uh, criminals don't think like we do. We, that might be normal for us, 
to lay low now. We ain't trying to get in no trouble. See, Deja Nation even went to that girl with that phone. When she seen that phone, and if she even suspected the girl might have been recording her, she should turn her stinking ass around and left out that bar and went home. But that's not the mind of a criminal. A mind of a criminal is instantly target this person and instantly make this person my next victim. See, I don't think like us, family. And people have to understand that. You know, because they made this young lady their target. And she was going to be their target. Point blank, period. You know? And if that lady, that young lady didn't have nobody, family, y'all best to believe this lady was in serious danger. You could see how that brawl was in the parking lot. And that's what the public and her friends being there to help out with making sure that their friend ain't these cowboys next victim. So imagine if this woman had walked out of that club by herself. They would they would have debowed her. They would have tried to take her phone. And if she didn't get that phone up, they would even if she would have gave the phone up, they were still gonna do her the way they did Shinquil. And that girl might have came up missing. Everybody would have been saying it's a lady missing that went to the club and all this, and nobody would have had no idea it was the cowboy three. And they two buddies. That went along with them. See, you got to think about stuff like this, family. See, I'm not all excited about the brawl. I'm more pissed off at the fact they was able to do this again. Somebody, an innocent person in the public throughout this United States and the world, somebody is going to be their next victim of deletion if they don't go to jail quick, fast, and in a hurry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my opinion. And everything I've said has happened. I told y'all they was going to strike again, and they did. Yeah, they did. This young lady was in a lot of danger who had that phone. I'm telling y'all, she was in a lot of danger. And the knowledge family is not even going to call this no doggone street justice. No, it wasn't no street justice. It's called self-defense. Yes, it is. It's called self-defense because North Carolina has some stank stank and going on and let these dangerous criminals be allowed to roam free throughout the United States and North Carolina. And look what they done did already. You know, so. If North Carolina can protect the Cowboy Six from going to jail, we need to protect our brothers and sisters who are defending themselves from these criminals. And that's why I said it ain't street justice to me. It is self-defense against these criminals. So all the other people who was involved in this brawl except for on the Cowboy side, they was doing self-defense. Yeah, they was. They was doing self-defense. I'm sorry. It ain't no street justice. It is not. It was self-defense. Point blank, period. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because, see, if the Cowboy Six ain't going to be held accountable for a horrible crime against Shanquilla, then, hey, it was self-defense. Uh-huh. And now look at it. They trifling behavior. It ain't been but six months. They already starting that trifling behavior all over again to innocent people in the public. Therefore, the public and our loved ones should be protected as well when it comes to these dangerous cowboy six and they little friends. The ones who had that old broke down Bruce Lee outfit on, you know, that's a dangerous one too. Joya Elise, I'm sorry. If that was her, she is dangerous. Yes. Because they started this. They picked it. They intimidated. They bullied that person with the phone. Why? 
because they wanted to start some mess. That was their next victim. But it didn't turn out right. Mm -mm. It didn't turn out right because the public was on it. And her friends was on it. So, therefore, it was public self-defense that night. Uh-huh. Not no street justice because one of the cowboys right here. And I didn't see these two on video at all. So, I don't know if they was there or not. And that was allegedly Dejeuner in the blue jean outfit. But the moral of it is, is that they named them popped up in some mess and a brutal fight out there outside of a bar. Why is that when they should have been in jail? North Carolina. You know? So because they bullied this lady, intimidated this lady, messing with that lady about she recording them and all that stuff. They walked up to these people first. They walked up to innocent people in the public. I told y'all they was going to target innocent people. So because they target innocent people, it was self-defense. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. Because they are known criminals who attacked somebody and deleted Shanquilla. They attacked Shanquilla and they deleted Shanquilla. So yes, quite natural if a criminal who delete people walk up to you and ask you about your phone and intimidate and bully and all that stuff matter, yes, you are going to be self-defense for yourself. Yes, your friends are going to come in and help you. Yes, the public is going to come in and help you because everybody know this person is a criminal who is known for a murder. So it's not street justice, it's self-defense. Yes, it is. I'm not going to throw my brothers and sisters out here in this public. I'm not going to throw my young brothers and sisters out here in this public. I ain't going to throw my young or my old brothers and sisters out here in the public under the bus by saying that it was street justice for the cowboy. No, it was self-defense. Anytime that anybody out here in the public give them that work, it was self-defense. Because, hey, everybody, everybody scared of criminals. That's why we try and tell y'all get these people off the street because they're dangerous. Because y'all got to think about it. If either one of these jokers walk up to you and start it in a intimidate matter, they intimidating you about your cell phone, aren't you afraid for your life? wouldn't you start off with self-defense? Because you already know what they're capable of. That's why I said this is self-defense. Not street justice. No. Mm -mm. It's self-defense. Because, see, when you say street justice, you're saying the brothers and sisters are wrong. The innocent brothers and sisters are wrong for defending themselves against criminals. And that's not what you want to do. So what it was, was street self-defense. Street self-defense. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Because, see, North Carolina is protecting the Cowboy 6. That's what it's giving. So since North Carolina going to protect the Cowboy 6, then anyone who runs around or runs into the Cowboy 6 has to be protected as well. Because these are known criminals that's out here mingling with the innocent. And it says and it shows clearly what happened at that bar parking lot. If this was them and their name is coming up as it was them, they are still dangerous as heck. They are still dangerous. And they are scouting for their next victim. It's not going to stop here. They got a hunger for it. That's what criminals do. They have a hunger for crime. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, you say it's public self-defense. They out here testing the waters. They out here testing the ocean for their next victim. Criminals have that 
hunger for crime. They out here right now searching. They testing the waters. They testing the ocean for their next victim, family. And I keep repeating myself. And I know people say, oh, she keep repeating herself. That's the only way I could try to get it to sink in. I'm telling y'all right now, the Cowboy Six, all six of them, and they two little new friends, the Joy Elise and the other one in the bootleg old Bruce Lee outfit, and then anybody else that hangs with them, if you are approached by them, you are in danger. And that's exactly what allegedly Dejanay did to that lady. Don't it sound familiar? She's holding the phone. So you sh Dejanay going to go over there and intimidate and take and all that stuff. Somebody else phone and they did the same thing to Shanquilla down there in Cabo, Mexico. Mm-hmm. They will strike again. They, I'm telling y'all, they will strike again. They tried it. They tried it. They tried it with this young lady. That young lady was going to be their next victim. That lady was minding her own business with her cell phone, and allegedly, Dejanay came up there harassing her, bullying her, intimidating her, trying to take her stuff. So, yes, it's self-defense. <laughs> yeah, Capo Six. It's self-defense anytime somebody get at you out here in the public because y'all dangerous. We already see y'all dangerous. They out here in these United States streets still bullying, intimidating people. Ain't nothing being done. And deleted Shanquilla. Ain't nothing been done yet. They need to be off these United States streets. People, keep your head on the shrivel. Keep your head on the swivel. And stay alert because they are out here looking for their next victim. Believe that. Remember, they took Shanquilla phone. After they deleted her. And Dejanay particularly walked up to this lady allegedly for that phone. Uh-huh. See, it's all a pattern. So they most likely was going to take this young lady and do a brutal attack. If she didn't have her friends and the public right there with her. I'm telling y'all. And it's a lot of people go to clubs by themselves. If this young lady hadn't went to the club by herself that particular night, she'd have been in some trouble. She'd have been in some trouble. Just thank the high power that it turned out that she had friends and the public who stood up at that moment for her. Because see, Shanquilla didn't have it. Shanquilla didn't have nobody to back her up. So, these Cowboys 6 are dangerous. And they friends are dangerous. Y'all think it's a game. <clears throat> I'm so glad this lady wasn't by herself. And I'm glad she wasn't hurt. But anyway, people, it's self-defense to me. It ain't no street justice. It's self-defense. It's public self-defense when it comes to these Cowboys 6. And they friends. Anytime a criminal run up on somebody, it's self-defense. In my opinion. Think about it, family. Anytime a criminal run up on you, that's self-defense in my opinion. Come on now. Ain't no street justice. That, that is self-defense when criminals run up on you. Because people fear for their life. People fear criminals, especially murders. Point blank period. Okay, that's all. So y'all heard my opinion. It was not no street justice. It was self-defense. And anybody else that run across them cowboy six and whoever they friends are is self-defense. Because it clearly shows they start mess. They bully people. They intimidate people. They fight people. They attack people. And they delete people. All of that in one is a dangerous combination. So, yes, it always will be self-defense until they get their butt in somebody's jail where they belong. They dangerous. Why are they out here? And this ain't going to be the last. It's going to be something else happen within a couple of months from now. Probably a couple of weeks from now. Because that's just how arrogant they are because they got away so-called with this 
no criminal charges from North Carolina. So they feel they are invincible. They feel they are untouchable. And boy, it didn't do nothing but feed their criminal behavior. Y'all, don't forget about the live May 28th. May 28th, write it down. It's going to be at 6 o'clock. Y'all can do live call-ins. We're going to all call, chat, and all that stuff. Write it down. And, uh, of course, during the live, I give y'all a telephone number so everybody can call in and we have this discussion and all that. Can't wait. Please join the live. Can't wait to hear from a lot of you. Um, appreciate it. All your dedication. But that's my take on all of this. All my take. So all I got to say about that, justice for Shanquilla. Gain knowledge to prevent blockage. And we all know what that means. The more you know, the harder it is for anybody to block y'all from your goals and success. Bye-bye.